Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there has been a huge democracy rally in Hong Kong there in China. Thousands of pro-democracy protesters took to the streets of Hong Kong today for the first time since the mass demonstrations shut down parts of the city for more than two months. Now a sea of yellow umbrellas, the symbol of the campaign, moves slowly through central Hong Kong with crowds shouting uh, for true universal suffrage. But numbers were well below the expectations with 13,000 people attending, according to the organizers, which is just over a quarter of the 50,000 they had hoped to receive. Today's protest wasn't a small one. It was smaller than expected, but it's wrong to say that Hong Kong has given in to the fake democracy that they're under since returning to China from the United Kingdom. Uh, police said that 8,800 people had joined the march in a fraction of the tens of thousands who gathered at the park at the protest. So uh, authorities have made no concessions to these activists' demands, and tensions remain high in this semi-autonomous Chinese territory. Police warn ahead of the rally that demonstrators were likely to once again try to occupy some of the Hong Kong's main roads, which were cleared of the tenant camps, of course, and all those, uh, you know, makeshift tents and, and, and trying to set up and create a blockage of the roads. They, they're not going to let it happen. So anyway, you did have thousands of people there, but the energy wasn't, you know, what the numbers weren't as big as they had hoped for. And I'll tell you what's happened is Hong Kong is just like, is just slowly being squeezed by mainland China. Eventually, it will be completely under communist, total, totalitarian. They'll take away the freedoms. They're changing the laws. They keep squeezing them. They keep adding more bureaucracy, making it more difficult to do business. And what they're going to do is they're going to clamp down and control it all. When they do, it will, it will lose its... It'll be the same thing happened to Hong Kong that happened to Havana in Cuba. Communism does not work. Democracy is not perfect. But any totalitarianism, whether it is communism, super socialism, Sharia law and radical Islam, monarchies of any kind, any type of dictatorships, they're all destined to fail because they're based on the excesses of a few and the scraps are for the remainder, and the remainder don't have any way to climb up out of there, okay? Now, America is dangerously headed in that direction. When you have to, Until we get term limits for the U.S. Congress and the House of Representatives to where people have to leave, they can only serve so long and they must go. But that desperately needs to be done to stop this kingdom building that these senators and these congressmen have. Also... It's really wicked to have a, a, a nine people on a Supreme Court that never that can stay till the end of their life. Again, what was that was a mistake to even put that in. Uh, it's good the presidency has term limits, but the Congress and the you know the House of Representatives and the Senate and the Senate should also. When you have just the politically connected and only the wealthy who are really determining who runs for the for president. I mean, the people aren't really getting to vote here. They have to vote for whoever's left. And what I'm seeing shaping up in this 2016, I'm afraid, could be what I call the Illuminati ticket. Both tickets will be the candidate of the Illuminati. I can almost tell you who the two are going to be. And I'm very concerned because I don't think anything changes. It don't matter who wins. They're both going to accomplish the same thing. It could be an Illuminati ticket. And here's something about Here's something that's real scary. That might have been what's been going on at, really since JFK, if you want to take a step back and take a look at it. Certainly, 
sometimes America leans to the left and sometimes it leans to the right. But if you look at its overall progression, it's headed toward a, um, a totalitarianism type government, which is destined to fail, especially if it removes God out of the equation, which America seems to be doing. So anyway, that's the information coming out of Hong Kong. They are protesting in the streets, but I think fear of retaliation is what's dwindling the numbers. And that would mean that the communist regime of China is winning this war. I'm Pastor Paul Bagley. Don't miss tonight's Sunday Night Live. We'll be on at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's an alternative to the Illuminati's Super Bowl. All right, and the halftime show and all of the commercials, which you know, are going to be promoting boldly the one world government, the new world order. Anyway, join me tonight at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com from 7, 7 o'clock tonight, Eastern. Be there. I'll see you when you get there. God bless.